And God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish and over the sea and over the fowls of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Genesis 1 verse 26. This is at the end of the sixth day. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply. And then this interesting word, replenish the earth. Subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea. And all these things. So God here creates an order of being that stands apart in his creation. Never before, as I read it, had there been such an order of being. But the Bible tells us that there was rebellion in heaven. The Bible tells us that there was a war in heaven. The Bible tells us that there was a great catastrophe because at one point there was a major upheaval. Isaiah 14 verse 13 and 14 says, Thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, above the angels. I will be like the Most High. Now what was that all about? And then we go back to Genesis. Let me give you a scenario. When God speaks angels into existence, He speaks and they stand fast. If God wants a billion angels, He speaks and there are a billion angels. But if we go to Genesis, it says, And God created man in His own image, in the image of God created he, Him, male and female created he them. Did God ever create male and female angels? No. Okay. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Now the angels were in the likeness of God, and they were in the image of God. They didn't have a lower capacity or anything like that, but here was definitely something new going on. And then he said, let him make man in our image, in our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing. To which of the angels had God ever said, have dominion? To none of them. To none of the angels God had ever said, have dominion. And God blessed them and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply. To which of the angels had God ever said, be fruitful and multiply? None of them. Wow. Subdue it. Replenish the earth. Replenish. That means stock up again. If your pantry is empty and you replenish it, what do you do? Is it possible? that this new order of being was being created and put into existence to replenish the universe? That angels that had lost their position and fallen from heaven were to be replaced by this new order of being? And that God was reaching out to His creation in a very special sense because He was being misunderstood at the level of His creation. The angelic host, under this mighty angel Lucifer, had looked at the Godhead and seen Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, part of the Godhood, before he came to this earth, he had mingled with the angels like one of them, nothing different. He was, however, in the fullest sense God and taken up into the counsel of God to the exclusion of all the heavenly hosts. And Lucifer was the choir leader. He was the organizer. He was the one who ran the show. And when the angelic host appeared before the Almighty, everybody bowed down in adoration to the Son of God. And Lucifer eventually had it up to here. And he said, what is this? 
I'm the skivvy around here. I do the work, I run the choir, I organize everything, and everybody bows down to him. What's the difference between him and me? In the image, I look like him, I'm just like him. I can do what he can do, but he is taken into the council of the Godhood, and I am not. And what is more, everybody obeys, bow down, bow down, bow down. I've had it. I've had it up to here. I want to be like him. I see no difference. Isn't that what was happening? And he was saying to himself, now hang on a second. All these rules and regulations, there must be no other important being except God. And God, seeing this mindset developing, takes counsel and decides to create a new order of being to meet the greatest crisis this universe had ever had to face. God creates an order of being that would understand the mindset of God more than any creature that had ever been created by Him. He was going to share his ultimate gift with this new creation. The capacity to bring forth life and the capacity to rule like a creator. That meant a totally new ball game, A new planet. A new creative planet. Where man would have the capacity to play out this role of a creative being. Freedom of choice is the greatest gift that God has ever given his creation. We are not puppets. We are something special. But when God created it, he knew that things could go wrong. But he was prepared to carry the consequences himself. And so he said, be fruitful and multiply, which he had said to none of the angels. Replenish the earth. Replace that which has fallen. Subdue it. Have dominion. Rule like I rule. And Lucifer looked at this creation and he knew what was happening. He knew God was doing something new. God was creating a being more in the image in terms not of brain capacity or anything like that, but in terms of, wow, sharing the creative capacity of God that he was awestruck. And he knew that this order of being was being created to expose his hypocrisy. What is man? What is so important about man that the God of the universe is so mindful of him? Let's prove that. For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels. The word there in the original is Elohim, which is God. Thou hast made him a little lower than God. Some translations actually have it that way. And has crowned him with glory and honor. Does that sound like a worm? Something that's crowned with glory and honor? Is it a worm? No. And has made him to have dominion over the works of the hand and has put all things under his feet. Does that sound like a worm? Here was a new order of being, something the universe had never experienced before. You are not worms. Lift up your heads. You are sons and daughters of God. Let us change the mindset of the youth. I did not come here. I didn't ask to be here. Let us tell them who they are. Sons and daughters of God. Created in the image of God. Created to even take the place of angels. And let us stand for what is right. Let us not listen to the voice which says, I will pervert, I will pervert the Sabbath. I will pervert the creative act of man, the bringing forth of children. I will pervert the marriage relationship. I will destroy it. Those are the two pet hates that he has. Because both of them reveal his character in relation to the character of God. Let us go back to the Bible. Let's ask the Lord prayerfully to show us what the real intention for the creation of man was, so that we can lift our heads and say, this is our God. We have waited for him. Amen. Amen. And let them have dominion over the fish and over the sea and over the fowls of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Genesis 1 verse 26. This is at the end. 
And God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, end of the sixth day. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply. And then this interesting word, replenish the earth. Subdue it. Have dominion over the...